Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. I'm Andrews. And one thing that we're amazed about is the amazing talent that comes from our community, but also the young age. Now, Andres, we got to meet up with you a couple years ago, but this most recent video we shot with you involved this. It's an eight foot wingspan P38 Lightning, and it's all Dollar Tree foam board for the most part. It's got a little bit of wood in it, but yeah, primarily Dollar Tree foam board. You had over 140 hours in this? Yes, and I've pro probably put about 20 more hours into it since then, and expecting, you know, another <laughs> 50, I don't know. Andres is a real trooper. We called him uh, after the episode aired, and so many people wanted to know how your Fowler, is a Fowler flaps, right? Yeah. How they worked. He went to work building displays, making formulas, and also finishing up his outboard flaps because when we were flying it, you only had two. Yeah, I only had the two inboard flaps set up and not the two outboard flaps. So I went ahead and added those. And talk about dedication to keeping weight low. You didn't want to put an extra set of servos on here and add that weight. Yeah, uh, plus the BEC is running a little bit um, to the extreme, so I didn't want to load that up too much either. You guys are wondering, a BEC is a battery eliminator circuit. If you put too many servos on that, it draws too many amps and it browns out your receiver, and uh, then your plane's a free flight. So Andres, how did you do your Fowler flaps? One servo controls both the forward and backward and uh, up and down movement of the flap. So there are two arms coming off of the servo on a torque rod right here, and these two arms on the outside control the forward and backward motion. And then this shorter arm in the middle controls the up and down motion. So as you can see here, the flaps go both forward, backward, and up and down. That is a very complex movement for one servo. What materials did you use to make them? This is just music wire, pretty thick music wire. This is about 0 0.032, 0 0.039. These linkages are actually servo arms that I cut and then thread the music wire through and then heat shrink some CA holds it together nice. Heat shrink and CA are a really good tool for like linking and making like modified control linkages, huh? Yeah. And then right here is just a Z-bend, modified Z-bend. Now you can see these two outside arms are pushing it backwards, then bringing it back forwards. And then it actually moves forward and backwards on these two rails right here, which are attached to the foam uh, part that's not moving on the wing with little pieces of wood. You can really do that with anything, but the, the whole point of the little piece of wood is just to uh, kick up the rail away from the foam so it doesn't bind. And then right here, there is a rod that allows for some movement. So this part is not actually glued. You can, uh, there's a little bit of flex in there. So, you know, if you hit something or it flexes, it's not going to damage it at all. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys can see it very clearly, but what he has is kind of like a tube used as a bushing. And then an L, uh, L bend, right? Yep. Piece of wire? Yep. That's a uh, 0.032 music wire and 1 16th aluminum tubing. Beautiful. And you're using heat shrink tubing and cut up servo ends yep. to, uh, to make your linkages. Yeah. So simple, but so complex at the same time. Yep. Another tip is to put V bends in these push rods and make them a little bit longer so that you can adjust them and fine tune them later so you don't have to get the exact measurement right off the start. That's even a really useful tip even when you're making scratch build planes for your linkages to trim them up. If you don't want to put the extra weight of a uh, linkage stopper on and your, your arms a little bit longer, you can put this V-bend in. If you need a little up trim, a little down trim consistently, you can put that bend in the linkage. That way you have maximum trim both ways and you can still work a very simple transmitter uh, and get a very uh, dialed in feel. Yeah. This is beautiful. A lot of soldering involved, right? Yes. Um, these arms are actually soldered to the torque tube. Now another way you can do that if you're using like a carbon fiber torque tube or you just don't want to solder it because it does take quite a little bit of time to solder, you can wrap some thread around it and CA that. That'll, that'll really hold it in nice. Okay. Well beautiful. So your outboard wings, you didn't actually uh, put servos on here. How did you connect them? They are actually connected in a very similar way to how this is connected. It's basically just a servo arm and then a Z-bend right here, a really big Z-bend that matches up with the center of the servo arm and the most outboard hole. So there's another torque rod CA'd and threaded to the servo arm that extends outwards and controls the outboard flaps. Beautiful. Now you did us a favor here. You made an algorithm and, and friends, if you ever think that aviation or this kind of stuff doesn't belong in schools, check out this piece of paper right here. This is pretty much a set of instructions, I guess, to 
make your file flaps and get the measurements for everything on there. If you you want to do these in order. So in each one, you'll figure out a new variable and then you'll be able to go from there. So the first one is getting the length of the first, of the longest uh, arm off the torque tube. And that's L1, which is defined on the back, as is all the other variables. <laughs> long story short, it would be too long to explain, but we're yeah. gonna post this up. Uh, we have a lot of teachers uh, that, that are passionate about aviation. Teachers, if you're watching this right now, take this to your students and have them solve it and make a mock up Fowler flap and see how close you get. Because this is a perfect application of where you take knowledge that you learn in school and you apply it to the real world stuff. Uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Aeronautical engineer. And all your other friends too, do don't you? Um, yeah, pretty much. So long story short, materials you're gonna need? Foam, music wire, carbon fiber tube or very thick music wire. Servo arms, heat shrink, CA, maybe some thread wood or any other material to uh, space this rail apart. Basically everything that you could find at a local store. Yeah, Very everything, cool. everything you'd have in you know your drawer. Do you have any bigger plans for something bigger in the future? Yes, I hope so. Um, next year for NEF and maybe for Flight Fest as well, you know, thinking something bigger than this. These wonderful folks live probably about 45 minutes away. They're frequent at uh, Flight Fest and NEF. Uh, if you guys haven't been to either one of these events, please check it out. You'll be amazed how many youth and how many families are flying together and doing amazing things like you've seen here. Uh, Andres, thank you for coming out, showing us how to do this. We're gonna post all this information on the web for you, but you brought your friends along. Yeah. And we don't wanna ignore them. We wanna go burn some batteries. So we're gonna head out and fly. We'll see you next time. Right, see ya. I'm a dude. He's doing rolling circles with the uh, sea duck. Ah, uh, he's got the sea duck, eh? <laughs> That'll play. Yeah, guys. He's playing with his, uh... He's got a I'm gonna start with everything that's like... Oh, dude. That thing looks bad, though. What is that? Oh. What is that? Loving it. Do you like it? Yeah. Why, it's real nice. It's like that a kid. What was that? That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was I mean, we were probably like 15 feet apart. So right <laughs> the background. The, uh, the FT arrow, the mini FT arrow, you know when people hit really, really hard and it finally breaks in half like what happened? Right. And stuff? When you have the bigger one, it did that even easier. So, Ooh, that's I, unfortunate. I hate to say it, if, if we're gonna go bigger, we might as well really go extreme and have some like plywood in there to make it last yeah, long. So, by the way, you can fiberglass water resistant foam board really well. Yes, yes. Yeah, there's my beautiful light. Beautiful light. Oh.